Here is the first time I'm using the Blade 3000. I can see a screen right here. Oh, oh, that's cool. And does it look like I have smart glasses? Ay, ay, ay. This is amazing. This is so processor. cool. So, uh -huh, so here you go. Wait, wait, wait. Let's. You can both be. So, uh, who are you? That's fantastic. Whoa. So this is the latest music, the most uh, advanced ever. A, you can see the. Um, how does it? How does it work? Well, you know, it's a pair of glasses. How do glasses work? <laughs> you want more detail than that, I would assume. Well, this this is screen. This is like a. Um... Yeah. So there's a there's a massive little tiny projector right here. This thing puts out a great big image out in space. The image comes down through here, and then it goes into a thing what, that we call a waveguide. You can kind of see it light up a little bit right there. The light nice. comes in, it spreads down through, and then comes out into an eye box. And literally, instead of projecting up onto the wall, it projects up into space in front of you. That's so cool. Does the, does, and this guy's it? running a quad core, ARM based processor, Android 5.0, gyros, accelerometers, magnetic field center. This is a phone minus cellular service. Where's the, where's the processor? It's over here. Right there. So, what CPU yeah. do you use? It, uh, it's a Marvell processor. Marvell? Yeah. So, it's a 64 bit? Um, I have no idea about that so level of detail, and I'm arm, not sure how much. But it runs Android, yeah. and you can. Uh, you, there's a battery on the other side here. Yeah, there's a, the battery and processor are on this side. And what's there's on batteries the other side? back here also. Ooh. This is display engines and a bunch of other cool stuff. There's Whoa. there's haptic sensors in this. When you're walking down the street, if there's a Pokemon Go character to your right, nice. the little haptic sensor over here tells you to look that way. When you look and turn your head, right out in front of you floats the Pokemon Go character. Directional information, answer your phone. This is the beginnings of leaving your phone in your pocket. So I was doing a v music videos maybe five years ago. I had all kinds of models coming out. And they were, uh, you have some model models also that, that looks like you have something external, right? Yeah, these are but, enterprise industrial products. And this is already uh, very successful for a specific markets, right? It's really starting to crank up in enterprise. Warehouse picking, field service applications. Which one is this one? This is the M300. Enterprise smart glasses. Um, so, what's the, the micro display technology? Is it a uh, uh, toe pin? No, it's, or is it, it's um, DLP. DLP. Touch so instruments. There's a small DLP projector, it's a NHD. Point two or? Inch. It's a 0.2 inch wide VGA. Wide VGA, that's so awesome. This is a cool. It's got an 8 megapixel camera in the front here, too. I can't even see a camera anywhere. There's it's a in camera. there. Don't oh. worry, it's in there. We don't hide it on purpose, and in fact, there's even a little illuminator in there so that if you're recording, just like this guy, it's on, so you know. Just like Snapchat with their glasses, think about that. But you can... And they still look a little out there, Snapchat glasses, but they're cool, okay? These guys are not just a pair of cameras with glasses. This is everything you'd find in a phone but cellular. 1080p video, 8 with megapixel cellular? camera, but you can see the There's no cellular, cellular but there. you, can, uh, you can Bluetooth to your phone. Or Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi or whatever. Bluetooth pair to your phone. iOS or Android. And uh, does James Bond even have something like this? Or it's the exclusive Vuzix uh, consumer product? It's, these are James Bond-esque. Even he doesn't have it, right? No, no, they're, 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 not yet. Like, like, uh, like Dude, this basically is basically glasses, that's it. Yes, this is the future of computing. I mean, HoloLens and some of these other companies' products are cool, but they're giant tour de force beasts. This thing people would wear. It has the look and feel of a conventional pair of Oakley glasses. So if you can just try it again. Can you hold, can you hold my, yeah, my right. camera? Yep, yep, certainly. Okay, yep. sure. Yep. Hold right. on. So, uh, well, I see a globe right here. It's very clear. And uh, do I have a, an interaction UI, or is it just yeah, voice? Yeah, on, you, on your right temple, there's a touch pad right there. Yep. Nice. Back and forth, up, down. It uses voice also, voice yep. commands. And I can't tell me if I should zoom back just a tad yeah. here. Yeah, okay, good. So it's it's actually very clear. And it's designed so that when your phone's in your pocket, you don't have to take it out anymore. How many times are you carrying all this stuff where you're walking down the street and your phone's out and you're, you got your face buried in your phone? You don't have to do that anymore with these glasses on. And is there focus pulling or is it, how does it work? Is unlimited you, focus? You, is it it's, laser? It's, it's focused at infinity. But nice. if you have gla if you have reading glasses, it, or excuse me, if you have you know distance vision glasses, yeah. you can get your script filled. So these become your glasses. And when they're off, the image completely disappears. When they're on, because we're using a DLP with all that high contrast, it's cutouts in front of you. This is so cool. So, uh, 
Is there enough battery life to like, you can charge it with a you could have a power bank and charge it for longer? How long is the battery? There's micro USB slot connection on this. How long do you think the battery will last? If you're watching movies, let's say, which is not terribly difficult, you can watch a full-length movie on this thing if you want to. Um, if you're using it the way you might use a watch, this is an all-day device. You, you know, they answer the phone, do those kinds of things. If you're chasing Pokemon Go characters in New York City running down the street, you probably got an hour and a half worth of runtime. So you should plug in. You can also, right now, there's a flash slot so you can put in more memory if you want to. And we're looking at having wireless charging on the glasses so that you don't have to plug them in. So, uh, 199, no, I'm thinking 499. How, how much can we uh, hope for? You know, it's, it's all about mass production, right? Yeah. Are yeah. you going to get there? You, how are you going to get there? You have big partners already. Yes. Right? In fact, so we just announced a great relationship with our friends at Toshiba. Uh, there's a bunch of, we have a who's who's list of partners that are using our products. Big companies. Big companies. They even kind of like bought you and stuff. Yep. Like some big. Not really. No acquisitions. No acquisitions. We're a public company. We're on the music. Musics is on the Nasdaq, and it's Big one of it's one of the only companies that's a pure play in this in this business. But there there are companies down in Florida that have four billion dollar valuations that are trying to make a pair of glasses. Are you talking about ODG or somebody uh, else? No, we're talking no? about Magic Leap. Okay, Magic Leap. Yes. Uh, but there's a there's some. Some big stuff happening, and Microsoft delayed their product. It doesn't really come out. They Hololens, say 2019. Wait yeah, for they're it. gonna wait till 20 because they're trying to, I think, deal with form factor issues more than anything else. This is augmented. We're not talking about a side this screen. Is, it's basically is, nearly augmented, right? This is about location-aware content. It's it's connecting the web to the real world. I'm the first guy to say this is not about watching dinosaurs yeah. walk down the street. This is about putting the glasses on having your phone in your pocket, connected information, the web to the real world, but it is not about, you know, the dinosaurs and stuff like that. GPS, it's about the Yelp reviews as you walk past a restaurant. Right, it's location. And you look a lot cooler connected. in those than you do in this. And you had another, a third one also, at the booth? That was, uh, yeah, it's that's the, M3, the 3, 000. down on the end. And that one over there, what does that one do? So, very similar to the M300. You have the M3000, same concept, industrial enterprise device, full featured, but with a see-through waveguide, similar to the blade that you were just wearing. Nice. So where's your company based? Rochester, New York. And uh, how many engineers do you have to make this happen, make this work? Well, in-house there's about 25 engineers, and they're every discipline you can imagine. Even one of them has a nuclear physics degree, but he's mostly doing. <laughs> we haven't optics. figured that. How do you think? Yeah, he's mostly optics-related kind of guys. So the optics, hardware, software, um, mechanical, electrical engineering guys. It's quite a it's an amazing crew of folks. If you want to know how to make wearable technology, these guys have been doing it longer than any company on the planet. And there's about 60 total employees at Music, 50 some odd kind of a thing around the world. And uh, this is so cool, so hopefully uh, Google is at Mobile World Congress and uh, comes up and says, hey, uh, how about uh, let's get this Google Glass thing come back and help you make better software, UI, everything. They should invest a billion in this, right? Yeah, you would think that that would be the case, right? <laughs> that, they should. It makes a lot of sense to me. You know, they're, uh, yeah, we'll see. I'd sit down at the table for a billion dollars. But how much, conversation. How much is it going to be, do you think? Price to the yeah. market? This will be less than 500 bucks. Less than 500? Yes. 2017? In 2018, it'll be less 18. than 500 bucks. Why do we have it's to gonna wait? Start, at the end of this year, they'll start shipping. They'll be premium price to begin with. We have a bunch of enterprise partners that, and in fact, probably there'll be a $500 version that maybe some features change and stuff on a bit. And then there's a $1,000 version that's pointed more to B2C kinds of applications. The ecosystem of applications has to come on board enough so the masses to purchase yeah. in high volume. But uh, you even need a few killer apps. Yes, exactly. Like one or two perfect apps. Navigation. And then something, and then you, you hit. You know, Navigation. Playing golf. Golf course. Yeah. Simple things, karaoke. Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go <laughs> might work. <laughs> All right.